Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm trying to post a little more consistently now, but I'm going to show you this Redbubble T Public and really print on demand money printer tool that I'm working on creating. Now, you saw a quick glimpse of this yesterday, but I made some improvements, and like I said, I'm still working on this thing, and I'm going to be completely offering it for free for people in our members area. So, I wanted to kind of show this. Uh, some improvements you may have may or may not have seen this yesterday, but uh, people can upload their custom fonts. So I'll just pick like for example a font that I uploaded here, and uh, if you have like a custom font that you want, maybe you've created your own font, whatever it is, you can add it. And basically, what this is is this is an AI powered uh, T-shirt designer, T-shirt creator. Now. What I like to do is I like to have something really, really basic for the first version of this tool. So this will be improved in the future, but I'll essentially how, show you how it works. It will have text, and then it will have a picture. So you could see here I uploaded a picture of a brain, and it's a transparent picture, uh, which would be ideal for Redbubble, for example. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for, for example, Stoic Quotes. I'm not going to search. I'm going to command the AI tool to do so. And I, let's say I want 50 total uh, designs, and I want it to be motivational, of course, and I'll give an example of a quote. So what I'll do real quick is I'll search on Google an example of a Stoic Quote just so I can give the AI a form of training to explain to it exactly how I want my output. Um, so if I want Stoic Quotes... Let's just say I want them about mental health. I'll go ahead and search a mental health quote right now and utilize it as a format for the AI to study off of. So here's an example of a uh, mental health quote right here. It says, your mental health matters more than any external validation. I'll take this and I'll just paste it right here. And I'll make sure that I don't have any kind of quotes or a period or anything like that because I just personally don't want that for my design. Now, if you're using this when the time comes and I fully release this tool, you could set this up however way you want. So I'm gonna go over here and hit generate, and you can see here our versions of our design is currently being generated. While this is working in the meantime, I'm going to try to match this color of this brain with the text that I want. So for example, I'll go for like this blue color here, and we can see that indeed our 50 uh, designs are created with all kinds of different quotes. And you could see here there's quotes around each one, but on the design they actually won't show. Does that make sense? So that's, that's kind of important to realize. So you can see here it says choose calm over chaos, peace over worry. If this has a search volume, for example, of like just 10 searches a month, it's a good chance I could get a sale every now and then for something like this. Now, I could do this on TeePublic, Merch by Amazon, uh, you know, uh, Redbubble. The list goes on and on. It, it really doesn't matter what website you use. Of course, you're going to have different results with each website, but this is a good example, right? So now that I have all these different designs, make sure the color, you know, matches. Obviously, I could sit there and check what color the icon is, this brain icon is, and match it with the text. I'm just doing something pretty similar, pretty quick. I also added an outline feature, by the way. So, for example, uh, you know, if I wanted to add a red outline to it, I could. I personally don't want to. This is not the case for that right now. Uh, some design study, I would, I, you know, I might want to do that. Might make this a little bit smaller, might make this a little bit larger. Just depends how, I'd, how I would want to do this. Um, and I'll just give you a quick example. So what I'll do here is I'll click auto export all. So what's going to happen is all 50 of these designs are exporting into my computer right now. And what I want to do, and this is what I'm essentially showing you guys now, is I'm going to connect this to a, uh, a Chrome extension tool that will automatically tag title and publish these to for example, Redbubble. In the case of, you know, this video, we're talking specifically about Redbubble. Let me show you how this would essentially work. So let's say I would want to include my title in my tags. Let's say I want long tail keywords. And let's say I want the diversity to be very focused, so not very diverse. 
and let's say I only wanted five tags. I'm not sitting here and saying that you should have five tags or 15 tags. I have a whole Redbubble course on studying the algorithm, you know, showing how to get sales, all kinds of cool stuff. In fact, one of our members uh, just today crossed over a thousand uh, sales on the Redbubble course, which are uh, on the Redbubble um, uh, sales, which is awesome. Uh, which is, you know, pretty pretty epic that we have a member that's doing that. But anyways, we have here, we're going to click Generate Titles and Tags. So what this is going to do now is it's going to take in all the data from every single one of these designs, curate tags, curate titles, based on everything that I specified here, and it's going to export it into a CSV. Now, all this is going to do, and this is the next step of my application, is it's going to take all these different files and slowly post them to Redbubble with those requirements, the titles and the tags. That's effectively how this tool is going to work. So this is why I call this like a money printer. In the future, I won't have to upload a single design. I won't have to design anything. I won't have to do any research. And this is literally still the beta. This is not even version one. And uh, once I release this, like I said, I'm releasing this completely for free for any member in our members area. If you're a member from in the uh, uh, passive income school, which is our members area, we talk about things like YouTube growth. We th talk about things like copywriting, um, you know, print on demand, all kinds of cool stuff, stock photography, all kinds of cool stuff, right? This is going to be a free tool within there because what I want my members area to be is just this one place where people can guarantee to come to to make passive income. Speaking of passive income, I love the fact that for many people watching my YouTube channel, they have never made a single dollar online until they watched our content with Adobe Stock, for example. I can't tell you how many emails and messages and comments and, and uh, private messages, even in our members area, people messaging me, telling me, I've never made money online before, and you know, with your guides through Adobe Stock, I finally made money online. Um, and you have to realize these people have been watching tutorials and guides and courses online for years before they've ever made a single dollar online. So I credit myself to that. I think that's pretty epic, but let's keep looking at this. So now we finally have uh, all the different titles and tags and everything like that. I'm going to go ahead and click export. So what this is, is going to be a CSV. So this CSV file, like I said, we're going to be able to upload this directly into a um, Redbubble uh, account, for example. And like I said, it will slowly, slowly, slowly post these designs for us on our behalf with our own titles, with our own tags. We don't have to do any work, any effort, and it will create everything for us. Hopefully, by like version two or three, what would happen is we'll have more algorithms. So when I say algorithms, what do I mean? This is pretty basic. It's literally just text and an image or it could literally be just text. But what if we had like text over here, an image, a curved lettered text with some graphic design in the background? That would be pretty cool too. That would be another algorithm. Do you see guys what I'm saying? Or what if we had, for example, uh, some text and, you know, like maybe a sideways image or, you know, whatever kind of t-shirt design that exists out there. Or maybe it's an image with text on the bottom. You get what I'm saying? So those are different what I call algorithms. Maybe it will create patterns into the future. There's a long expansion set of what we can do with this tool. This is literally just the beginning. And I figured I'd show you guys what I'm working on behind the scenes. Two reasons. I want to make passive income for myself. And I want to make it as passive as possible with as less work as possible. And I also want to be able to gift that to you guys as well. So anybody who's with me in my members area, you guys are the ones who get to get all the first fruits of this kind of thing. So let me show you where the errors are coming in and what I need to fix as a little idea. So we have our titles here for our designs. I might want to kind of make the titles a little bit better, but it's not too bad right now. The tags need some improvement, obviously, for something like a red bubble uh, tag setup. We wouldn't want something like the word quote, or excuse me, not quote, but T, like T as in t-shirt, or, uh, you know, the word gift, for example. We wouldn't want these kind of keywords, or apparel. We wouldn't want these kind of keywords inside of our 
Redbubble tag. So we want to make sure it's more human-like as possible. So do I have some training to do with the AI? Absolutely. I'll, I'll make some fixes. But that's kind of my game plan for the software. So the first thing I need to do is make those improvements, as you saw, to the output of that CSV file. Um, and for those who are curious, we can actually view some of these designs right now. You could see here, sometimes the text might get cut off, right, because of how big it is. If it's if the font is too big, we can always, you know, make it smaller. So, for example, make it smaller just like this. And in the same case, we can make the image smaller. So it's not like a critical issue. Uh, but in the future, we'll probably create something that's a little bit more dynamic, right? So, for example, here, this design came out perfectly. Wisdom is seeing things as they truly are. And by the way, this is transparent. So for if you guys are familiar, anybody who has a Canva membership, you have to pay for that membership to get transparent designs. Once again, with us, you join our membership, our members area, everything is free. It comes with, not only do you get course content for free, but software for free as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. But um, this design came out perfectly. This design, the text was a little bit too big. So, you know, I could go in here. So I can go in here into my uh, downloads and delete all the different files, right, that I just downloaded, and then re-download them with a little bit smaller font just so that everything fits. You know, these are some small things that I'm working on, making it slightly a bit better. And then once we get that, we'll connect it to another software tool that can automatically post these for you, and it will be completely epic. I mean, who wouldn't want to have a system, a money printer, if you will, that does work on your own behalf? Okay, for those who are curious, guys, this is exactly what I had my virtual assistants do for years, right? What I would do is I would hire people from the Philippines. I would pay them very good wage, and what they would do is two people would be responsible for creating and finding designs. So sometimes it was simply just downloading a picture and posting it on Redbubble. And then sometimes it would be creating the design, and then somebody else, or two other people in this case, were responsible for tagging and titling the designs. One person was doing the actual tagging and titling using the software tools. Uh, for those who don't know, I'll actually pull them up here. Um, there's a website called Bots and Apps, and I've talked about this before. I know I haven't talked about it in like two years, but I would buy them this tool, this tool, this tool. I mean, I would buy them all the different tools, and what these tools would do is that they would work for us when it came down to even the Red Bull Rocket Tagger. These kind of tools would tag and title for us, which would make things a lot easier. On Redbubble, and I would give them, give it to them. You know, Philippines, although they speak English great, um, there or very well rather, uh, their grammar might not be always 110%. So that tool would help them, and then that person would tag and title uh, using the tool, and then he would hand it off to another person, and that person would do the actual posting. So imagine I'm eliminating four different jobs, which costs about you know 1,800 a month. Uh, that's 1800 US dollars a month uh, for people to post at the time 60 designs a day every single day to about four or five different accounts. Uh, so, you know, it's it, it was a lot of work back then, but now it's really amazing how AI can automate all these kind of tasks. And I had a message from somebody I personally know who makes a lot of money and he actually messaged me privately and he said that I shouldn't be showing people this kind of stuff. I shouldn't be telling them about it. I shouldn't be even offering it to them. And uh, he's kind of, you know, mad about it. And I'll just put it that way. And I'm not going to call him my friend. He's just somebody that I know. Somebody who's done very well financially. And uh, I don't see it that way. I think that, yes, there are certain things that should be exclusive. But I keep those exclusive things to the members area. And... You know, I think it is pretty cool, and the reality is is that in the world we live in, there is going to be a very clear difference between the haves and the have-nots. And when I say that, I'm not to be insulting, but there are people who have access to technology and know how to use it properly, and then there are other people who don't. And they have these, they're kind of like these stuck-in-the-mud mentality uh, mindsets that force them, unfortunately, to be left behind. And I don't want to be one of those people. And what I'm starting to realize, especially somebody like me, is that I have been used to, for a very long time, working very, very hard on things. And now that AI is in existence, it's really not much about working hard anymore. It's about working smart. 
And don't get me wrong, I'll never be the type of person that says you can get rich quick and this and that. But AI is really, really making some dramatic improvements to what it is in its existence. And like I said, it's about how you use it. It's not about, um, you know, just kind of expecting things to come to you or expecting things to be the easy way. Uh, and really, you got to change your mindset on things. And at first, I was very sad that AI came to existence because I don't want to say sad. I was disappointed because I only saw the negative. And truthfully, I think AI is going to be very bad for 90% of the population. But I'm hoping that if I can adapt and I can become part of that 10%, then I can create things like this that help me dramatically save time so I can do more. And really what this is, is this is the difference between being an entrepreneur and being an intrapreneur. Even though I don't even like to use that word, entrepreneur, I never label myself that. I don't even like to call myself that because I just think it's cringy. Uh, an entrepreneur is somebody who works on the business, thinks of different systems and logistics and different ideas that can help grow it. An entrepreneur is somebody who's working in the business, doing the actual manual labor. And so something like this this is an entrepreneurial task where I'm handing it off to an AI tool that can do the internal work for me, the labor, the, the, the heavy load, right, the carrying. And then for me, I don't have to do any of this, and I could just think of ideas, build those ideas, build those systems with AI uh, that use AI, excuse me, and then let the AI carry that load for me. So it's it's pretty amazing what you can do. And this is coming very soon. I'm just downloading all these new designs now, now that the uh, font size is a little bit smaller, so I can go ahead and show you what it looks like. But I hope you guys are excited uh, for the future of AI, future of software tools. And really, the case for me is that software tools have been one of my greatest assets to use over time. And, you know, previously I was a consumer, but now I started focusing a little bit more on the creation side, creating tools that are specifically more tailored to my personal needs that can help me and vice versa. If it helps me, it will obviously help you guys if you have seen uh, those kind of things. So here it says successfully exported. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Yep, much better now. Much, much better. Let's go ahead and take a look at these designs. I'll open up like 30 of them right, real quick. And here we go. Let me just make this a little bit smaller so that you guys can see it. But yeah, this says choose growth over comfort, wisdom over fleeting pleasure. That's a good one. Uh, find enduring inner calm is your greatest victory. Embrace change. It leads to greater wisdom and peace. So like, think about it. Somebody on Red Bull can find a design like this, buy it on a cell phone case. Boom. That's an extra four or five dollars, you know, hit my bank account. Uh, somebody could buy this on a sticker and it might be an extra 14 cents or 25 cents, but I'm not complaining whether it's a dollar, whether it's a hundred dollars, whether it's 50 cents. I don't really care. It's just about the consistency and the growth. Don't get me wrong. You know, I would love to make a ton of money. Uh, I would love for, you know, hundreds of dollars uh, to hit my account every hour using this software tool, but um, I'm a realist, and I know that's not likely going to happen, but what I can do is I can get my piece of the pie, get my little slice of the digital real estate out there, and that's exactly what I'm doing, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. If you have, you know, some cool ideas or questions, let me know as well. We can have some conversations, but yeah, this is what I'm working on. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.